Hey, 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 good morning, everyone. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for November 28th, 2018. So my goodness, we finally, finally catch a little break here and get a bit of a relief rally. After our gap down open and a little bit of scariness, looking like we could actually slip to new lows, those bulls finally did step up and start to defend the support. And as you can see, we moved on up yesterday, producing basically a bullish engulfing candle and moving us into this gap that was created on November 20th. If we were to take a look at that on a short term chart, you can see right here we have this open gap now that hopefully we can fill. Now this morning, unfortunately, we're getting the market all excited here again and, and we're just gonna gap almost straight up into that resistance. So here we have our price resistance and by the way, um, if I if I mark this price resistance up here, you can see we're opening very close to that. So we're going to gap up more than 100 points this morning and, and probably slam into that resistance pretty quickly. If we take a look at our moving averages, notice that the 200 day moving average is up here and we've created a bit of a level just above that with a 20 and the 34 producing a resistance level right in here that could be rather strong so be careful as exciting it is to see the bulls following through it's also a little bit um you have to be a little bit cautious that we're gapping straight in to a relatively solid resistance level that we'll have to watch closely and remember really nothing has changed the things that have created this sell-off you know the the threat of the bigger tariffs um, um, interest rate increases and stuff none of that has changed so kind of keep that in mind as uh, the market is looking all kinds of all kinds of happy this morning wanting to uh, gap up and that's what we've been we've just been a market of extremes we go from one extreme to the other and this this gap up into here um, we want to be cautious of that and what I mean is we want to make sure what I would do is if you want to watch this for an entry what we want to see maybe jump to a, a shorter term chart an intraday chart we want to see actual buyers stepping in to support so here's a 15 minute chart and you can see we had a gap up the other day here on the 26 we gap up and ran up but notice there was really no follow-through buying to support that and we push down what we need to see is more like what we saw yesterday the market moved up and then we finally saw those buyers kind of step in here toward the end of the day and push through that level so maybe take a look at that intraday and realize that we need to see a little bit of follow-through before we jump into trades right at price resistance in the market let's take a look at the spy spy also looking good holding that support level here that's a nice thing to see and we're moving up I'm into this downtrend resistance. We're moving up into this price resistance. And this morning we'll be gapping very, very close to those levels. So kind of keep that in, in your mind as you're thinking about um, new positions today. Also, let's remember to take a look at our moving averages. We have some room up here to the 200. That's a good thing for us if we can breach that um, this level right here to move higher it may give us more upside room but let's also keep in mind that the SPY is really only a few days away from creating that um, death cross with the 50 crossing down below the 200 only a few days away from that so we'll want to be uh, um, remind reminded that this is going to take some time that all this technical damage is likely not going to evaporate in just a few days few days of bullishness um, it would be wonderful to see you know some kind of deal with China come out but 
as the days pass, that seems more and more less likely to, to be occurring here in the very near future. So lots of work that has to be done to recover some of this damage. But it is wonderful to see the bulls working here again. Let's take a look at uh, the cues. Now the cues also rallying toward a resistance level. You can see we're gapping up here this morning gapping right into some price resistance and we have this level right here of price resistance and the one right above that actually extends back over into here so as we rally up we want to start watching those resistance levels and respect those resistance levels um, constantly being reminded that we are still in a downtrend here so a lot of work has to be done and remember in the nasdaq we actually created that lower low so any rally back to resistance has to be um, cautiously approached with the idea that we could fail at resistance and just continue our downtrend Let's um, take a look at the moving average here on the na on the queues and notice we're only about a day or two away from the death cross occurring here on the NASDAQ. So um, certainly not a, a picture of health, um, um, even though it's wonderful, wonderful to see this rally. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM holding up pretty well here, did a pretty good job. Yesterday it actually turned lower. Um, but held on to this little price support level right here um, Right through here is this little price support level held on and now it's gapping up this morning trying to recover That so IWM is actually in a pretty decent position. It's Well, it's proved to hold on to that price support rally above that resistance pull back to test that resistance and now showing a gap up open where we could maybe push up to the next level. So um, one to keep an eye on if you're looking for some kind of a quick intraday type move. Let's take a look at the VIX. The VIX doing that really nice work of pulling back on that fear. Um, we're still building that price wedge here. We're still above this level of support, but we are building that nice little price wedge. And hopefully we're going to see this drop on down. We don't want to see this pop back out of here, um, but it is perfectly acceptable if this winds around in here a little bit more. Um, as a as a typical wedge pattern will do so kind of keep an eye on it what I want to see is I want to see um, uh, fear starting to break down and moving back down toward this other level of support which is a major level of support let's move on down there and start breaking down some of that fear bring some of that volatility out of the market and stabilize some of the prices so there'll be better signals um, to be able to trade let's um, take a quick look at t21 22 that four week new high new low ratio here again whoops wrong chart here again, um, yesterday we got this pullback in T2122, even though uh, the market um, was rallying and moving up, which to me is a really good sign because it gives us the opportunity now to um, really move up. Now, the 50% level right in here, which means we still have considerable upside potential in the market. And with this gap up this morning, we're obviously going to spike up here in uh, T2122. Um, that's one of the reasons I hate seeing these big gaps that we were getting lately because we get these big spikes and then all that happens is we find sellers after those spikes and um, we push it back down what we want to see is more of a steady uh, market be developed here where we're moving up in a steady manner and so far we haven't been able to get that so watch this spike what that means is is if we spike up there could be sellers there as we approach that resistance we could find profit takers in that area so um, watch that closely but the good news is we have plenty of room to move to the upside. We also have to respect the fact that if sellers do take over, if we push up here, um, then we've created that, that opening here where there's room to move down. So remember, there's always 
two sides to the market and um, we have to respect both of those as we're planning our day forward. Let's take a quick look here. Oops. At the economic calendar, we have an interesting economic calendar today. We have lots of lots of stuff that oh darn it, it's picking up another hold on guys. Picking up another window. Um picking up all the windows when I drug that over there. Um with a GDP number, that's a big number coming out at 8.30 this morning, can certainly move the market around. International trading goods coming out right at the same time. We have new home sales coming in here at 10 o'clock and the EIA Petroleum Status Report, which all of these have the potential of really moving the market around today. Watch these numbers first thing this morning. And then this afternoon, we have the Fed Chair speaking um, right at noon Eastern, so kind to keep an eye on that big numbers today certainly could draw some attention um, uh, to the market so watch that close on the earnings front we have about 40 companies reporting earnings today so please make sure you're checking those earnings against current holdings or companies that you're thinking of buying remember the market rarely rewards laziness you don't want to be in a position and caught off guard by jumping um, into a trade that's just about to report earnings or not knowing a company is reporting earnings that you happen to hold. So always do your due diligence there on earnings reports. Now with that everyone, hey, I would want to wish you a fantastic day. And if this is the first time you've seen this information, please remember I don't intend to make any money from these videos from YouTube. This is really to help everyone just be uh, more prepared as a trader on the day. And I provide a an awful lot of training on that YouTube channel. So if you find this useful, please do me a favor. Click on that subscribe button on YouTube. Um, the follow me button on Facebook, if you happen to be watching it there, click those thumbs up buttons and drop a comment. That always helps. Helps those algorithms show these videos to more people. And I truly appreciate those who take the time to do that. Thank you so much for all your um, help in that area. And with that, let's take a look at a couple of charts that may be of interest. There's a couple things out there that are looking pretty good. If we look at Procter & Gamble here, Procter & Gamble, a nice little defensive type company and had a nice rally, pullback, held support, buyers stepping back in here. Procter & Gamble looks like an attack of these highs up here could be possible. Procter is one of those kind of easy to trade type stocks. It, it's it moves pretty well and consistently. It's not a big newsy stock, so it's one to kind of take a look at. I'm also seeing great moves on like Verizon. I've talked about Verizon before. Verizon holding support in here, moving on, on up. It's one of those uh, big dividend payers that folks kind of like, and um, it's holding up very well if you're looking for one of those nice stable trades. Starbucks trying to hold on to this support here after this big move up on earnings and rally you can see we we broke through this resistance right here we've pulled back to hold that area as support now i wouldn't be too surprised to see a little more consolidation in here before starbucks really takes off in a rally but it certainly could take off in that rally with this gap up this morning and you can see looking pretty good so far this morning uh, starbucks might be one to start watching here for a potential upside another defense company that really responded well yesterday holding on to some price uh, a little price support level here um, was coca-cola trying to move back up and recapture this uptrend we'll have to wait and see if the market gets really bullish sometimes the defensive stocks actually uh, pull back so there's a few to take a look at and by the way if you guys remember I mentioned Merck yesterday uh, Merck followed through a beautiful move up yesterday and and looking like it's going to break out of uh, that high here and continue that move up. So Merck is working out. I also mentioned FireEye 
and FireEye held up really well yesterday. Didn't get the move I was kind of hoping for, but held up real well and looks like it's going to move through a little bit higher this morning. So a few stocks for you to consider and put on your list. Uh, remember, uh, these aren't necessarily actionable trades, but they're uh, trades that you need to be watching. With that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all an awesome day. Have a, uh, have a great day of profits, and we will talk to you all very soon, bright and early Thursday morning. Take care now.